see you here. Hi, Tara. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you too. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Beautiful. Oh my God. You are so stunning. You are too. I love your hair, the combination. It's I'm gorgeous. And your hair. Look at you. Check you out. That took a long time. I was like, a lot well, of work there involved, so... You look phenomenal. Um, obviously, I want to start by saying I'm really excited about this. I've heard so much about you. I have been following you on Instagram. You're oh, a fun uh, chick. You're a fun thank chick. Thank you. I'm trying. I just want to be happy all the time, trying to be positive, you know, in life. Life's short. So we got to keep positive and keep happy and, you know. Well, Tara, I mean... Introduce yourself. Tell everyone who you are. Uh, my name is Tara Beyer. I'm a singer-songwriter, originally from Canada, and I lived in Los Angeles for the past five years now and completely assimilated. I was born on the West Coast in Vancouver, British Columbia. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've got the British side. I'm actually part British, uh, part Filipino, part uh, Scottish and Austrian, so I'm a whole mixed bag of things. <laughs> dropped your album Super Loom. Um, I've been listening to it pretty much all day and yesterday. It's so chill. Like it's, it, it feels like a rebirth. So your Thanks. music is known as alternative folk music, but I got that rock and roll, that 70s feel from it as well. Um, so tell me a bit about the album and tell me, um, you know, what you think and what it means to you. Yeah, um, the album is definitely a departure from my previous work, which is mainly in folk, acoustically. Um, I wrote this album with a beatbox, with my electric guitar, and I literally wrote the whole album with uh, beats. So I had a very drummer perspective on this next album, and I think I just wanted rhythm and beat in this album, and I felt like I was channeling that. And in terms of the concept, uh, Superbloom is about overcoming um you know you know processing through obstacles and i would say blossoming into your true beauty into your true self we should all learn to love ourselves um you know we as humans are imperfect so i just wanted i wanted to make like an album like a mental healing bomb i just wanted people to just chill and relax you know so that's kind of the vibe i want to give is is uh everything everything should just everybody should just relax it's gonna be okay with this COVID time and so i'm hoping that this album will bring some relief for a lot of people Now you said you're using it as a sort of outlet to get over something, almost like a rebirth from something that's happened in your own life. Um, I'd love to hear a bit more about what like personal situations that sort of brought you here. Yeah, um, okay, well, there's different things. Uh, letting go of some people that I had worked with before, that was, you know, and ha a song about gratitude, that we were just that time and space. I have a song called Hopeless Romantic and that's what it's about. It's like, I remember like we had those moments, but you know, that's cool. We had those moments and, and you do your thing and I do my thing. Um, I have other songs about getting over toxic relationships, narcissism. Oh. It's, yeah, it's a new thing, narcissism right now. Um, and it exists and um, just how to protect yourself from that energy and learning to love yourself. I think we're, you know, and it's getting over the negativity. Um, yeah, and you know, me personally, uh, Ocean was about miscarriage. That was something that happened to me and it's something that is very common for a lot of uh, women uh, these days. It's, you know, everybody's going through that. And uh, yeah. Ocean is just about rising above and walking, this, the course is I walk to the ocean. So I wanted people to just know, you know, if stuff, if shit goes down, just keep going embrace like nature and just like there's got to be some light and some hope in the tunnel yeah and thank you for sharing that with us i think a lot of women um 
it is so common. I think a lot of women, I know people, there's people that I know that know. It's such a common thing of you to share that. It's important. Um, and the song yeah. was really uplifting. Like there was something about it that was very strong and powerful. <laughs> your biggest influence when it comes to music and why um a good question <laughs> there's so many great musicians I would say musicians of the 70s I felt like the 70s in the 70s that was a time of peace and unity and there was hope I feel like there was a revolution um Buffy St. Marie has been my complete idol I did a, a short film on her Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she was, her songs were the first songs I ever played. Universal Soldier um, was one of them. So I started from a very activist base. And, you know, I would say, uh, you know, Joni Mitchell, Stevie Nicks, Bob Dylan, Johnny Cash, John Prime. Um, and just even if my music is different genre, I love Bob Marley. Like, I love what he's saying. I like can't play reggae, but like, <laughs> um, I love his vibe, you know? He's there to spread a message in his music. So, yeah. I, I want you to pull out your favorite pieces because okay. I have a feel, I love vintage clothes and I'm a collector. Oh my God! So, you I have knew? a feeling you have some amazing vintage stuff in your cupboard. Okay, so I'm wearing a vintage dress right now. This is totally vintage. Um, love it. Is okay in here? Is the lighting, lighting okay? Yes, okay. I see it. So this is really vintagey, like this. Ooh. Yeah, and then check out these pants that go with it. They go, they go with, with the outfit. Wow, that's, that's, that's very ABBA-esque. That's, that's right? the only way I can describe that, ABBA. I'm, I haven't worn it yet, um, but then I have, um, I love Betsy Johnson <gasps> and, this is Betsy, Betsy stuff, and I'm happy like she's still making stuff. And you know, I interviewed Betsy. She's actually crazy and amazing at the same you time. Did? She's awesome. Yeah, she is an cool. amazing human. You and her would get on so well. I, oh my god, she's all about the flowers. I yes. What else? Oh, I wore this. This one's a big one. I wore this at a festival, and it was like my boobs <gasps> were falling out, and I was like, I can't wear this again. Girl, you have to wear that all the time. I oh, you, it's a I, romper. I love it. That oh yeah. You know what's crazy? I was reading up about you and actually um, just learning a bit more about your life. Um, when you were younger, you learned piano from a young age. Like you were ten years of like hardcore lessons. Like you're a musician yeah. at heart. And um, tell me about that. Um, well, you know, it's interesting you touch on that because that's been a big thing about my overcoming in, in life was I started with music for 10 years with a very strict piano teacher. And but she taught me, you know, to really push hard. She taught me perfection and structures of music. And I used to walk to her house every day. And sometimes I would be so sad after I would cry because she would be mad at me because I wasn't perfect. And uh, it was hard, you know, I did it for 10 years. I could have quit, I didn't, but I kept going. Um, and it was interesting, the process. So then I went into school and I did what, um, I just kind of went the journey and I got my degree in criminology and I was planning to be a lawyer. And wow. then I had a feeling, yeah, I had a feeling, okay, I got to follow my heart. I got to follow, follow what's, what is right for me. And I made that leap. And then I went into some theater, I did some film, and that film brought me a full circle back to music. And I think that's what is the interesting and great thing about kind of my journey is that, you know, every path is unique and we all are there to kind of listen and follow to the cues along the way. City. Hardship. Hardship. Oh, God. Show. Dreams. Desire. Love. Is it someone you love or the passion and love for music? 
I would say like pure love, like when I'm performing, I just want to bring out love to the people. So yeah. The feeling of love. And I feel love just, I, I'm, I'm just, it's pure happiness. Like I feel love is pure happiness. So I'm very, I love to perform. So yeah. You ready for the next one? Oh, I'm ready. Animal. Hungry. Why? I thought you were going to say horses. Okay, cool. You're a gem. Thank you so much for this. Um, listen, look after yourself. Stay safe. Stay in touch. And thank you so much for tonight. Mwah. Thank you so much. It was great meeting you. It was lovely meeting you. Take care. Okay, bye. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. Thanks for joining. Love you.